Hey guys, I'm Will Patterson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize fonts inside of Vectinator. It's a really simple and effective way of creating different custom fonts within Vectinator without having to know too much about the app. So we're going to create something like this today. This is edited text and it's super easy to do. First thing we want to do is I'm going to delete this text here. I'm going to add the same text back in. Go to the text function. I'm going to go all caps and I'm using a font called Montserrat. Now that I've got my text, I'm going to bring it to the center. And we're going to go to the style options over here. I'm going to press fit bounds to text. Then I'm going to create outlines from text. Now what this does, if you look carefully, is it creates shapes out of the text. Now it is no longer editable, which means that we can't just add more text in. Vectinator is seeing this as pure shapes and we know this because we can fiddle around with it like so. The next tool we need to use to make this work is the no tool or the direct selection tool. What this allows us to do is it allows us to select certain notes within the shape like you're seeing here and it allows us to precisely move these shapes around when we selected them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select these nodes and I'm going to pull them down and I'm going to put my finger down. What this does is it constrains the angle of where I'm pulling so it's perfectly vertical. We can do it for horizontal as well over here. Select the T and move it. Hold my finger down there. We can even create this to look like it's merging into the N. Bring the N right down. We can bring the I right up. Now you can go real crazy and do a lot of other edits to this. We're going to actually create another square here and I'm just going to bring it in a square like so and I'm going to match it to the same thickness of the eye here. Now with that, I'm going to just rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to place it somewhere here. Now what we can do is make it look like this is part of the text. We can actually put this anywhere we like. We could put it on the I, the N, the M. We can really do whatever we think we want to do. I'm going to pull these down a bit more, bring this down a bit more. In fact, I don't even like this, so just redo that function there. We can create sharp objects within the text. I kind of like that. That seems pretty decent, pretty easy to do as well. That is how you change and customize your font in Vectinator. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to press the like button and also subscribe so you don't miss out on another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.